What's up guys, this is Dan, welcoming you back to the Next Level YouTube channel. This week on the channel, we're talking about options. There's excitement in the air, there is snow in the mountains, people are already riding, and what an unbelievable option this would be. You guys, the Polaris Axis RMK 800, still to this day, the lightest mountain sled in the industry. We're gonna go over why it's one of my favorite builds. Let's break it down. All right, so as many of you guys know, I had the opportunity to go ride down in Chile with Chris Barant this July. Uh, an amazing experience, guys. And what, it, what made it really, really fun for me is I got to spend four days riding a Polaris Axis 800. And I'll tell you why. You know, we, we get so caught up in all of the builds and all of this crazy new technology, new lightweight, this and that. We sometimes forget where it all started. And the 800, you know, this is, this was the sled. I mean, the 800 with the Axis chassis, this is what started it all for us. And quick story is, uh, it's the last day, it's day four, we're all getting kind of tired, but I can tell Chris Brand, he's, he's got one more trick up his sleeve and it's myself and six or seven other riders and we're all headed down off the mountain in Chile. We've all had an unbelievable four days and I could see Chris uh, each time we had passed over this area where we're looking down into this steep ravine, this steep draw, uh, it was right by the trail, but it was about a hundred yards down. It was pretty darn steep and he kept eyeing it, kept eyeing it. And I knew we're on our way down. We're going to go have some awesome Chilean food. And he stops there and I'm like, here it is. We've got to, we've got something else we've got to do. Pretty standard Chris Brand if you've ever rode with him. He waits for the rest of the crew to show up. Everybody's, you know, scrambling, getting out their phones and they're all going to watch him go down this and film it. He borrows one of the 850 163s that's there and drops down into this thing and I'm just watching and watching Chris is pretty amazing, right? So he goes down, he has to make this real tight left-handed turn and build what momentum he could on this really small area down at the bottom. And here he comes, right, in, in typical Chris Brandt fashion, just blazing out over it. Everybody's filming, thinking it's awesome. Well, a couple of the guys, as soon as he gets through it, they look back at me, and of course, you know I have to go. And so I jump on the 155-800 that I'd been riding those four days, and I bomb down into this thing. And it was so cool that I was able to turn around, follow his rut, and boom, come right up and out of that thing on a 155-800 RMK and blazing over the top, feet dangling off the side. <laughs> riding that 800 and understanding like this is where it all came from like the same personality the same feeling that i've had with so much so many of these snowmobiles and these riding experiences it came riding an 800 you know an 800 power plant we could talk about its undefeated rimshaw two years in a row right we can thank our guys keith curtis and some of these others that have just been slaying it on the rimshaw circuit aboard an 800 right we could also talk about tried and true 800 power plant. This thing has been rock solid for a number of years. We can also talk about the, the in-season deals that are going on. So because the 850 was a snow check only snowmobile, chances are you're not gonna see those at your dealers, but what you will have is both the holdover, so your 2019 800s, uh, which is an unbelievable deal, and it's all dealer specific. But another one is you've got your 2020 800s, and what's really unique about the 2020 is it comes with the React front end, just like it does on the 850s. The React front end, guys, is an unbelievable front end. So throughout the years, my guys and I here at Next Level, we have built and ran so many 800 RMKs through the shop. We'd love to hear from you guys. Your questions, your comments about this snowmobile, please leave those in the comments below. You guys remember, so Support the channel by subscribing. We appreciate all of the support so far. We'll see you next time.